In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Ableton's Instrument Rack to combine instruments and effects in one track. Let's check it out. In the Instrument category, you can open up the Instrument Rack presets by clicking the triangle next to Instrument Rack. You will see menus with many different presets. Notice that all the presets have the .adg file extension. That stands for Ableton Device Group and indicates that there are multiple devices in this preset. Let's check out this Deep Wave preset I have set up here. Notice that when we load it up, it only shows you the eight macro knobs, but I can choose to reveal the chain and devices included in the preset. This tells us that Wavetable is the only instrument in this preset. But after Wavetable come multiple devices, including EQ, Pedal, Delay, Reverb, and Limiter. Notice that some of these controls have a green dot next to them. These are the controls that have been mapped to the macros at the head of the chain. For instance, the gain control on the limiter is mapped to a macro. Same for the dry wet knob on the reverb, and in fact, the on off switch for the reverb, as well as the delay. The sound designer who made this preset must have thought that those controls were the most important controls to have, and that's why when you load the instrument up, those are the controls you see. You can choose to hide the chain and the devices by pressing the circles again. Now, when you press a key, you can adjust the sound simply by adjusting these macro controls. Now, it's no accident that the macros come in groups of eight. Most MIDI controllers that have knobs will have at least eight knobs. If your MIDI controller maps automatically to Ableton Live, then those knobs should map automatically, and now you can have some tactile control over your sound. Let's check out this next preset, Alter Garden. Now, in this instrument, I've already revealed the chain and the devices, and we can see that, in fact, there are three separate instruments here. They are all instances of Simpler, but they all have different settings and different samples. In fact, all of them are in multi-sample mode. If we look at the middle sampler, you can see that there is a reverb plugin right after it. Notice how it's inside this bracket. That means that it belongs only to this one chain, and this reverb plugin does not affect the other instances of sampler. If I go to the third instance of sampler, you'll see that it has a delay plugin. This first instance of sampler has no audio devices after it. Notice that there are parameters in each chain and on multiple devices that have parameters mapped to macros. So you can use macros to map controls across multiple devices and across multiple chains. Let's take a look at this one, Ethereal Burbles. In this chain, you can see that there are MIDI effects, then the instrument, this is the Max for Live instrument, Poly, and then audio effects. And that there are audio effects with parameters mapped to macros. And there are MIDI effects with parameters mapped to macros. So you can map both MIDI and audio effects across multiple devices to macros.